am going to try to mount these brackets underneath my uh, onion planter boxes. Now, I made those yesterday. I just took some uh, thin little metal, cut them, welded them on a 90 degree angle, and I took some flat bar here, and I just uh, bend them around in a pattern, welded them, and then I give them a quick spray paint. Brackets like this are very easy to make. Maybe I'll do a little video on how to make them, but I'm sure a lot of you already know how to make those little brackets anyway. I'll show you how they're going to fit. I don't have a microphone, sorry folks. I'll show you roughly where they're going to sit. Now I did, I do have a, I cut a board and a piece of 2x6, 2x8, whatever it is. And I brought my floor jack back to jack the center of those onions up before they come crashing down. And I'm going to install these today. Now I ended up getting the two brackets in as you've seen. I made I might end up making one, two, three, four more brackets. Because this is sitting nice, nice and straight, and that's where the joint was even. But down here it sags a little bit. Even if I make 
two more that would be a lot better maybe that's what I'll do today I'm not sure simple as that folks simple as that that's what the brackets look like I'll show you here that's what they look like under there just quick simple little brackets nothing fancy just some uh, angle welded and some uh, little flat bar bent welded on there and a quick little paint job and some holes and some screws and and then I just put a board up on here as you can see because the used trough was too soft when I first did it it started the buckle here yeah pretty solid now okay so before I start building these I know I'm going to have a lot of um, I don't know what I should call them. Sofa safety guys, uh, internet surfing safety guys. They're going to tell me I should be doing this, I shouldn't be doing that. You know what? Most of them probably haven't worked under the conditions I work under. Um, it's not like I'm going to afford to run out and buy a pair of earplugs whenever I need them. I can't afford to run out and buy, buy a pair of gloves when I need them. Um, yeah, so I work the way I work, and I'm not advising anybody to work the same way I work. Although I know a majority of the people around the world do work exactly the way I work, and uh, we deal with it just fine. So sit back and enjoy the video, and if there's any safety infractions you see, just ignore them and enjoy the video. When I start screaming and dropping on the ground and, and writhing in pain, worry then. Until then, hopefully you can enjoy the video. Now for the simple scroll work, I just welded a piece of pipe here. That's the size of the loop I wanted, the loop. Um, welded a piece of flat bar here just to hold it and I'll show you all I do. You know what? You folks might be right in the way and I'm sorry. I'm going to have to move you. Out my way. I'm hoping you can see that now. I know the sound quality is probably going to be horrible. But... So this year I just welded this like this and I just slide this in. You see that? It just slides in between the pipe and this flat bar. And now I just wrap this around. Slide that through a little bit. I don't lay it when that slip. on this side it actually bends fairly easy there's one of the loops now now I just take this and I drop it in here and I'm thinking I want it somewhere about there I am actually going to measure that and see this one's going to be a little different than the other ones
so I have two that's pretty close to the same. So that'll be for two brackets. They're not going back to back, but I just wanted to show you. They're, go they're going to go back to back with something like this here. Something like that. That's how they'll look. And I drew this little, little spot right here that's going to go like this. And this will go in like this here. And that's how they'll look. And then I'll have my piece up. Sorry, my piece up, across, and then a metal brace down the center so it doesn't bend. So I have a second one there. Now I just have to make another one for this loop, and I'll have the ones for the ends. Or in, I think maybe these will go in the centers. And I'll build another one for the ends, a larger one. I'll get back at it. Okay, so now that I have these guys made, they're relatively the same. I ended up cutting two of these the same length. Now, I'll show you here how I'm going to do it. It's going to be my one outside bracket that gets bolted to the fence. And I have this brace that runs up through the center, which is one of these. They'll get welded so it doesn't sag like I was showing you earlier. This here is going to get put inside like this. It'll be welded corner to corner. Now I may have to shorten this piece up here. And then this here will go like that. And that's how that is going to look. Just like that. Now we'll have another piece of metal coming up here and across. This will get screw nailed up and this will get screw nailed over. So now I'm going to find myself a nice piece of wide flat bar that I can use for here that I can drill side and it will carry more weight. I ended up fly finding some pretty good flat bar right here. So I'm going to cut some flat bar now. And I'm going to get back at this after having something to eat.
So I have one just about all finished except for cleaning and painting, but that's what it's going to look like there. Just a quick little bracket to hold my eaves troughs up with my onions in it. Okay, so aside from a little cleaning up here, scraping, a uh, little bit of uh, wiping down with a buffer, drilling a few holes to hang them, I think that's pretty much my brackets. I actually just clamped this pipe right here, this piece of steel rod to hang them from when I paint them. I'll paint them tonight, but that's my quick little bracket setup I built to hold up my east troughs. Now you see how easy they are? Um, in the house when I did them, I'm going to put a glove on here. They're warm yet. What I did when I made them like this for in the house, see this little loop right, right here? That's where I hung the curtain rod in the house. And they are so simple to make, and I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. The bottoms down here, they're not perfect, but they're not supposed to uh, really look perfect. I don't think so anyway. And, and you see, they didn't cost me a whole lot. Just some scrap steel I had laying around in my time. They may not be the prettiest looking things you've ever seen, but they're very inexpensive and they're going to work. This time, I ran a brace right down here so these won't flex. And I use this also for some structure. And then this here is kind of more just for decorations. So that is how they look, folks. What they're going to look like. Now I will give those a cleaning, drill some holes, and I shall paint those and attach them to the fence once they're dry. Okay, so now I have the mounting holes drilled. I drilled them from the back. Now I'm going to flip them over and drill some countersink holes so the screw nails will go flush. Now I got this bit. I have a screw nail just to test it. I'm going to clamp that right there. Doesn't have to go 
in too far just to countersink it. Well, I think that will be fine. Maybe I'll go a little deeper than that. Pretty darn good. It's not perfect, I'll show you. It's not perfect. I think it'll be okay though. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I'm happy with that. Good enough. I'll do the rest of the holes. Alright, they are all drilled up. Counter sunk. Not much left to go except cleaning and painting. That is the finished product so far. I have to scrape off the little splatter. I do not have anti-spatter obviously because I'm poor. But that's uh, how she be looking so far. Just the few hours this afternoon and some old steel that I had laying around. I'm going to get out of that, clean them up, mix up, hang them up, mix up some paint, and we're going to spray those this evening. And if the bugs aren't too bad, <coughs> excuse me, if the bugs aren't too bad, they won't look like Jurassic Park all over them. Usually the bugs come out about the time I start painting. But that's it par for the course. Clamp this back on here. And have a rod here, I'm just gonna clamp and then we're gonna wire it up. First I'm gonna get something to clean that with. I'll be back. fashion way. Is it going to fall off? I bet it's going to fall off. I better not do that because you know what? That would be real dumb. That fell off as I was painting it. And perhaps I'll hang it up just like so. And this might be okay like that. Way. Oh, now this here, you can get 
bent up a little bit more like this, and it's not going to hurt my feelings any. I'm going to get my paint gun. I'm going to bring out everything I need, get it mixed up, and then we're going to go at that. Oh, we got something. Don't mind the mess in the background. Okay, I'm going to start that generator and get things going. They turned out with a little bit of paint of course as soon as you start painting you get people racing up and down the road seems like a hundred mile an hour kicking up dust and you get pollen spraying all over it that's fine hey they're only going to go out back and hold up our onions is all and uh, these screw nails they are going to fit in just like so not exactly perfectly countersunk. But what the heck? Only took me a couple hours to build those, and they should last quite a while. With a little spray paint on them, and that's what we got. Heather was out earlier, and she seen them, and she said, "Oh, more, more curtain rod hangers." And I said, "Nah, I'm afraid they're going to be to hold up the onions." So she wants me to build her some more for in the house. Anyway, I have a mess to clean up this evening before it rains. They're calling for rain tonight. Kind of looks like it might, not severely, but I have to carry that welder up and put it in the old house as well. Anyway, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. You folks take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye.